I was always a film guy and a music guy. I lived it, I breathed it. There was always a song in my head or a movie uh, that I was thinking about. And then when I had gotten the job, I kind of put everything else on the back burner because I wanted a family and I wanted some security for my family and myself. I've been here uh, 25 years. When I first got here, the uh, teachers were a little older than me and they all now have retired. I'm probably one of the last guys from the original building. I did not mind the physical that much. As the years went on though, you know, then you start getting some back problems, lifting, walking, uh, up and down steps all day long. But those last couple of years, those last five years, were starting to really be a, uh, a mind game. Seeing a lot of changes. Obviously, the building changed. Teachers have changed. The feel of public school systems have changed. I think it's much more stressful for the teachers and all. So I see that kind of change. And also makes me think, I've done my time. I, you know, when I walk down the hallway sometimes, I'm here early in the morning, there's nobody here. So if it's 5.30 in the morning, sometimes I can almost hear the voices and the laughter of 20 years ago. And it, it really marks time. My retirement date is December 31st. That's the finish line. And maybe it's apropos for me to start the rest of my life on the first day of the year. There's a point of failure that no longer matters to me anymore because I have nothing to lose. That's beautiful, that's a great feeling. And on the other hand, I'm older. The people I thought would be there, some are not now. To watch me complete this journey it carries a lot of uh, different emotions that I didn't think, but that's how I process things. Doing this type of work, which was not my passion, I would strive to do other work, and I would venture out and try to be positive in the other part of my life. So my office was not like any other room, but it really was kind of a shrine, not to me, but to the things I love. I would be able to tack something up because I would look at it and it would be a gentle reminder for me that I worked with this person and I respected them growing up. And keep my thumbprint of me and my personality and my music alive. The Bobby Darren work is really starting to take off and I'm really gonna be in it 24 seven. I think now at this point, I am not just the Bobby Darren archivist. I believe I'm also a representative. My name is the one that people will reach out to, and I am the first step for them to the uh, estate. There ain't no other janitor that's like me. And I say that because I can clean good, and I can sing down the hall, even in my horrific voice, and own it. And people love that. So, yeah, I think I did make an impact. And I'm realizing this now, because as I'm leaving, people are telling me, what's this place going to be like without you? So I've always must have filled it with song, that guitar strumming when I would sing happy birthday to those kids. Even recently, somebody uh, came up to me. I remember that time you taught me this, or you know, and I would have forgotten about it. It is bittersweet. There are times I'm melancholy just thinking of it because I've seen a lot come and go. And not only did my children come here and their friends, but I've watched them each leave and I stayed here. I was here from the beginning and they all went on. It's a chunk of my life. And no matter how times it could be frustrating, nothing in life can ever be 100% miserable or 100% great. I'm gonna to get to talk about music. I'm gonna hopefully enlighten them. And better yet, their stories will enlighten me. And I'll just keep learning. 
and be around the things I love, music, film. I'd like to fade out. I came in, I uh, was really animated at times and laughed a lot and made a big presence, I guess. And maybe it would just be kind of great to just quietly fade out.